Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm Sharon Morton, your Mistress of Ceremonies, and I'd like to welcome you to BDPA's 35th Annual National Technology Conference Awards Gala. Wayne, what do you do uh, with BDPA or for BDPA? I'm the Executive Director for the BDPA Education and Technology Foundation. And that's BETF for short. Tell us what uh, that means and what you guys do. We raise money to support the programs, scholarships, and services for our local 46 chapters around the nation. We also raise money for the high school computer competition through our Dr. Jesse Bemley Scholarship Fund. Okay, and how did you enjoy the conference this year? I thought it was great. It was just wonderful to see all of the new children and youth and young people, the future faces of technology as they were recognized for their technology abilities and skills. It was wonderful to give out those scholarships. And as I was watching it this year, my dream is that next year, as the, as the young people are walking off the stage, that there are colleges and universities that are providing them with four-year full-ride scholarships for the hard work that they've done through BDPA. The conference and the career fair is, is superb. I've actually had a chance to go by today and talk to a lot of the companies that were here today and ask, thank them, number one, for being here, and number two, ask them you know, whether or not it had been successful. And without one single one, they all said that the quality of candidates that they saw today were really, really, really very good. So they're excited, and I think we're gonna see all of them back again next year. Well, for our students, we have two programs locally here in Washington, D.C. that's replicated nationwide. Those programs primarily involve the high school computer competition and the IT showcase. We're now getting students interested in some of the cyber opportunities that are available to them through Cyber Challenge locally and getting also the community colleges involved with that activity as well. And if we are operating in a world where we are competing with popular culture, and we are competing with entertainment, movies, rap. We're competing with athletics. We're competing with a generation who sees dollar signs, who sees bling. I said, so why, why not? Why not show your bling and talk about your bling to get some attention? And he looked at me and he said, man, that's a good thought. <laughs> I said, Frank, that is the mistake that we make when we're trying to capture somebody's attention. I said, because we're not thinking about putting ourselves in their shoes. We're trying to downplay those things. And I said, dude, you live in a 15,000 square foot crib? <laughs> I said, so when you begin to think about your lifestyle, you begin to think about what you do, you then can say, I got all of this as a result of science and technology and that. You talked about increasing opportunities to women. What did you mean by that? Well, I think exactly that. And I, and I will say that that's not just for women in this country, though we have more work to do here. But I think there's lots of studies, economic studies, that will show that when you give women more opportunities and give them money to invest, that country, that place of the world will do better. It becomes a, a more thriving, certainly a more peaceful area. So while I want to do diversity and you want to do that for all the kind of the right reasons, there's a really good business and world peace reason to put money into women. Um, and we just need to do more of that across all of the world, not just the US. And lastly, what do you think about the work that BDPA does? It, it, it's an organization that does a lot for uh, students, especially lots of mentorship, scholarship, networking, internship opportunities. Tell us what uh, you think about BDPA and, and the things that you've done with BDPA. Yeah, this is my fourth uh, year involved with BDPA. In my mind, it's, it's an organization that certainly does all of the right things for um, minorities, but I will tell you my biggest thing about BDPA, they're an organization that reaches out to everybody. It is not just about being the black data processing organization, certainly a focus there, but they're an organization that does good for everybody who needs good. As you heard me maybe comment a little bit tonight, I think BDPA is more about an economic organization that takes people who don't have the opportunities almost of any color, any race, and says, we're going to help you get those opportunities. And how can you not like an organization that does that? I do want to commend you all for the student portion of this, because many of our students don't see role models or people who say you can do it. I understand you have 
about 200 students here, it's really important for them to be exposed to leaders, to thought leaders, to people who are doing this work. I mean, if 20 students are sitting with uh, James Cook, uh, that's amazing. You know, if someone is looking at the Navy, so many of our young people look at the military as a career possibility. But sitting with someone from the Navy, uh, I think also is very important. So I commend you all. Anything that has to do with young people, I'm in. In order for us to change the paradigm in the 21st century, we are going to have to shift the way in which we interact and talk about, talk about STEM and that can get somebody's attention. Well, what kind of advice could you give to our college students who are interested in majoring in STEM? I think there are three main, main things that I would ask students to be excited about, truly excited about. The, the first one is, is that in industry, it's thriving, it's live, there's many, many opportunities and many, I hope that looking at the organizations here, you can see how diverse careers in technology really are. Uh, second one is that the, how it's applied. There's so many diverse ways that technology is applied. Um, both in this country and opportunities to travel and see other parts of the world. Uh, the third piece I would say is that it's an evolving uh, practice and process that that what people learn today is learning how to learn and how to apply it and they'll be able to continue to do that throughout their lives going forward. Kyla, it's wonderful that you're here at the BDPA 35th Annual National Technology Conference and Career Fair. We're excited to have you here. You are the first African-American woman to get a PhD in computer science from the University of Michigan. That is such an accomplishment. How do you feel about that? I feel two ways about it. First, I feel like it's really a big accomplishment. I actually didn't set out to become the first African-American woman to do this at Michigan. Um, the way I found out is that I was looking for guidance and a mentor, and I was told that you know if I finished, I would be the first. So you know, I feel a great sense of accomplishment, but then at the same time, it actually saddens me that we don't have more minority women who are getting their PhDs in computer science you know, at that level. I can certainly understand that. Well, it's good to have you here at uh, the conference and career fair. I mean, have you enjoyed it? What have you done? Have you been to any networking events? Or um, have you heard any panelists speak? Uh, what have you gotten out of the conference? I've gotten so much from this conference. This is actually my first BDPA actual like big conference and I've gotten so much from the sessions. Um, I've just gotten so much from talking to people, developing collaborations. I've talked to at least three different people about potential projects that we can work on. Um, I've talked to people from industry, from academia. It's just been, I didn't know what to expect when I came, but it's been so rewarding. Like I have a list of people to contact when I get back, lots of new um, angles to go on with some projects, so I'm excited. I really enjoy that. And Jasmine, how are you involved in BDPA? How come you're here at the gala? <laughs> so I actually participated in the IT showcase um, and actually took first place and um, was actually presented with a $3,000 scholarship um, from BDPA. Wow, congratulations. How do you feel about that? I'm very excited. Uh, this is my last semester in college, so every bit counts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, $3,000 three will go a long way. I know you're excited about that. <laughs> very much so. What kind of advice would you give to uh, younger kids that are coming in and, and, and are interested in joining BDPA and, and becoming really involved? Well, first of all, I would tell them that that's a great decision. Um, so this is actually my first time being involved in BDPA, and just the networking opportunities that I've had um, have been incredible. And really just, there's been there's so many opportunities here for you to um, meet other people who are passionate about IT just as you are, and really just to kind of show your work and for people to really appreciate it, especially at our age, it's, it's sometimes hard to find. So I think BDPA is great, and it's a, a great decision. Well, congratulations. We're so excited for you, and I know you're excited and your parents. So uh, hopefully you'll do uh, really good work and have a successful college career and professional career. Thank you. Okay, kids, congratulations. I think you won what place? Fourth place. Fourth place in what competition? High school computer competition. And you represent Washington, D.C., correct? Yes. How does it feel to come in fourth place and do such a great job this year at the BDPA conference? Oh, this is my first year, so it's amazing that we placed, and it's a good feeling, and I get to go back home to my mom, and it's crazy. It's a good ride. Good, good. What did you think about tonight's gala? <laughs> I thought it was pretty awesome hearing from all the people and, and just 
seeing everyone win something is it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And do you guys intend to continue to enter and hopefully come in first place next year? Of course. We plan to enter again next year. Yes. Okay. Well, congratulations and thank you guys. Okay? Thank you. Keep up the good work. Okay, guys. Congratulations. You won second place, is that, uh, in the high school computer competition and you are from L.A. How does it feel to win? Well, we got one up. We got one place higher than we did last year, and so it's just fantastic to be in, currently improving. Great. Anybody else want to say anything? And it's also amazing because a lot of us won't be back next year. Marcus here is going to be able to carry on our legacy, so we're very happy. Next year, he'll get first for us. I'm just happy we got second place this year, and I'm really happy for the team. And hopefully, we'll, be, we'll do better next year. It's like my first and last year, so second place. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's our third year, Trey and I, and we came in from 14th, and we've come to second, so it feels amazing right now. Okay, well, congratulations to you guys. We look forward to seeing you next year. I know you'll come in first place, right? All right, okay, thanks for joining us. Okay. This, this year's conference was awesome. It was one of the best, best and most exciting conferences we've had in a long time. Wow, you must have been really impressed with the kids and your conference team. The scholarship winners, uh, the, the sponsors, tell us a little bit about that. I was excited about everything. First of all, I was excited about the scholarships. The number of scholarships that we gave out was <laughs> second to none. Um, and then the scholarship winners, some of the students won um, two scholarships. And for the Oracle scholarships, none of the students knew they were getting the scholarship, so they were totally surprised. <laughs> um, I was very impressed by the type of sponsors and the commitment that they gave to this organization this year. And then with my volunteers, the hours that they put in to put in the, put on this conference is very impressive. Um, so not only are they developing their technical skills, but they're learning about event planning. And I bet most of them never thought they'd be doing this. And so that's a wrap for this year's BDPA Technology Conference and Career Fair. We can't wait to see you in 2014 in Indianapolis, Indiana.